we've been living on this boat since April, May last year. We've been living on this boat since May last year. And we've been having daily fires on the stove since October, November last year, you think? Yeah. And it's only since this week, which is mid-February, that I've discovered stovetop cooking. <laughs> so we were using the stove to boil the kettle and that was really good because we had constantly hot water on the go. And we did attempt to, to cook a potato with oh, yeah. somewhat disastrous results. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So we were probably put off by the uh, failed potato, um, baked potato effort that we had. Um, but suddenly this week, I don't know why, maybe a week ago, I just I decided I was going to make a dal on top of the stove. And it was really good because you just put it on first thing in the morning, you smell it all day long, and then at the end of the day you've got a delicious hot meal to make. And I just did it in this like cheap Wilco 10 pound stainless steel pan. Um, and then we decided that we wanted to do a few more things. So we got a bit more serious and Michael found this, <laughs> this really heavy, <laughs> what is it? It's a Cuisinart cast iron um, three quart pan. Um, so since we've got this, we've also made a kind of st root vegetable stew or soup. I don't even know what it was. Um, on the We're calling it stoop. Stoop <laughs> on the stove. And we've also made a curry. Um, and I was going to do this video while we were cruising. So I was going to make some, you know, set something cooking in the morning and then go for our cruise and then eat it at the end of our cruise. But I think that was a bit ambitious. So we're not going anywhere today. So um, I'm just going to make a lentil and carrot soup. So I've had a look online at some recipes for carrot and lentil soup and I'm just gonna basically make my own up based on those. I have to get told off by the way I'm chopping. Fun fact, I've never ever cooked a butternut squash before and I don't even know how to cut it up, so no doubt I'll get comments for this. Now um, for some spices, I'm going to use cumin and coriander and a bit of chilli. Use. So here's the question. Is this a red lentil soup with butternut and carrot? Or is this a carrot soup with butternut and red lentils? Or is this a butternut soup with red lentil and carrot? This, this is what it is. I'd say go with like a cup or less than a cup. That much? Yeah, that looks good. And we end up with something that is less dully and more soupy. Soupy. Mm -hmm. Do you rinse? Yeah, you don't need to pre soak these. Afternoon, and hopefully, everything the lentils all cook down, and hopefully, the carrots all cook down, and we'll have a nice. So, it's been on about an hour, yeah, 30 40 minutes, and the stove is really hot right now. Oh my gosh, it's going really fast. <laughs> 
it's looking good. Should I taste it? Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's really good. I worried mine. Oh, that's good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. That's how you break a pot and a fan simultaneously. What if I get beard all over my Think. I mean tube all over my beard? Yeah. So, uh, one. <laughs> uh... It's probably not burnt. Why 